Are you one of the 76% of pet parents that have a costume ready to go for your pet for Halloween this evening? Good morning. It's the Y94 Morning Playhouse. What is your pet and what are they dressing as? Does Ziggy have a costume for tonight, Amy K? Ziggy would never let me put him in a costume. I said I tried to buy a costume for him. It was like a pirate costume. I could not even get it on him. I think probably five years ago. We thought, you know what? Our golden retriever, who is a, he's a beefcake. He is a chunky monkey, okay? He's like a large golden retriever, uh, somewhat by choice. He just likes to eat. So we're like, we got to find a costume that's going to fit him. And we're going through Target, and it's probably like October 29th. And the only thing they had that would fit him at the time, it looks like a rain cloud with uh, like a rainbow breaking through. And so it's like mostly cloud, but there's a rainbow on it. And we're like, well, it's the only thing that's going to fit him. We'll get him something different next year. We, he's gone trick-or-treating now for, like, more than half of the kids' lives as this same same cloud. Why would I buy something else? I'll just have it be the cloud. But does he like wearing it? He doesn't. I, I think he's confused. But we'll put it on him again tonight, and sure enough, he'll go trick-or-treating. It'll be just fine. And he wears it good. See? Then that's fine. Let him keep wearing it. So did you hang on to the pirate costume then? I just threw it away, like, you last month. Up, you finally gave up I on it? I finally gave up. <laughs> I was going to say, you give it one more go. No, he won't. He will. He gets so mad. Even if I start taking it out of the bag, he hears it and he's like, Wah! and he runs away. He knows what's happening. What's the pet? What's the costume? Call or text 237. It's hi. Hey, happy Halloween. Happy I am Halloween. dressing up my chihuahua as Coco Chanel. Fancy. So you going to go all out with this then? Full on sunglasses, beaded collar, you know, studded, jeweled little socks to look like pink stilettos, all in the works. It's going to be amazing. It's what I would imagine, I think, a chihuahua would end up as something fancy. That's glamorous. what she's going way out for that. Feels about right. Are other people going scary or is it kind of fancy like that? I think most of it's kind of like your classic. Someone said, I'm dressing my dog up as a pumpkin. It's classic. It's cute. And my cat's going to be a little witch, complete with a tiny hat. And I'll send you guys a picture later. Thank you. Uh, Someone else said, my dog's going to be a bat matching my three-year-old as Dracula. And another person said, my three dogs are going as Alvin and the Chipmunks. I don't have them dressed for a picture yet, though. I will say this, and maybe we'll get some people now that I try to call this out. I don't think enough people do this because you see like couples costumes and you see family costumes. Not enough people do family costumes where they include the pet. Now, that'd be the win right there. The person just said a bat to go with their son as Dracula. I mean, do better. A bat. Yeah. Uh huh. Be like, it's all Star Wars characters, but your Chihuahua's Baby Yoda. Okay. That would be really cute. Like an actual costume. Okay. Come on now. Like a theme. And the whole family's part. Everyone's a part of it. Uh huh. You're all Toy Story characters, and this one you're like, oh, your dog doesn't have a costume. I was like, yeah, it's Buster from Toy Story, because <laughs> they get a dog in Toy Story. What is the pet's costume today? Uh, well, I have the cutest little rescue dog that I just got a few months ago. Cool. And she only has one eye, so I'm gonna make her a pirate. So I got her a little eye patch, <laughs> little pirate hat, <laughs> and a little uh, some some gold necklaces it's appropriate it's also kind of sad but it's appropriate i mean i wish i could get ziggy to wear a costume everyone's making this sound so like their pets so cute and they're just willing to put these on do you think it's just that dogs are a little bit more cooperative than the cats is that what this boils down to which i'm surprised because i i think there are lots of dogs who are kind of stuck up and don't like to wear things yeah i mean yeah it's just a pet personality thing but everyone is getting their co- their pets dressed. What's your pet can be for Halloween tonight? Yes, I'm dressing up my pet as a um, a ninja. Well, nobody's messing around with it. Is it a dog? Yeah, my dog's a badass. So yeah, <laughs> he's going to take the, the neighborhood down. Seventy six percent of pet parents doing it tonight. What's the pet? What's the costume? Two three set ins for the playhouse. Playhouse, why not four? Are you one of these pet parents? The many, many pet parents that are going to be dressing up their pet for Halloween this evening. What's the pet? What's the costume? Call or text 237. It's getting flooded all of a sudden. Wow. And someone said, I have a six-month-old black lab. I got bat wings from the Dollar Tree. That was about enough to spend on her because she is hard to put anything on. Another person said, my dog's going as Scooby-Doo. I'm going to be shaggy. Love it. Someone's had a vampire, but it's a struggle because my cat will let me put it on her for a total of 20 seconds. 
Yeah, I get that. And someone else said my dog's going to be a taco. What is your pet going to be for Halloween this evening? Hello. So I'm dressing up as Princess Peach, and then I'm dressing my dog up as Mario. But see, now that's a good, a theme, a very cute. That's what earlier someone said they were. the dog was going as Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. Yeah, I, and I said, I love it. I love it. Hi. Um, I'm dressing up my dog as a dinosaur, obviously. Um, my kids are both dinosaurs this year, and they're adamant that they want to have our dog dressed like a dinosaur, too. We have a Siberian Husky. Okay. So, um, very specifically, my kids want to dress him up like a Stegosaurus. All right, so they even, it's not just a dinosaur. They know, like, this they is know. the dinosaur he needs to be. I also like how she said, gonna be a dinosaur, obviously. Hello, what else <laughs> would we dress our dog as? So now mom and dad gotta be, like, caveman, cavewoman. I think that'd be, or, like, Fred and Wilma. Is that the Flintstones? Or they could also go as dinosaurs and just a family of dinosaurs. That's good. It, it almost looked like the Ice Age. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna feel like it, too. It's gonna be chilly tonight, kind Unless of. you could get, they have those dinosaur costumes that, like, blow up. You know what I mean? I bet you can be all snug and warm in those. Is that warm air they blow in there? I don't know. It could be freezing cold <laughs> air sucking it out from outside. Never had one of those inflatable ones. Either have I. I'm already wide enough. I don't <laughs> need one of those. What's your pet going to be? All right. I'm uh, dressing up my dog as the iconic Carol Baskin. Okay. Well, I also feel like you got to be Joe Exotic then. <laughs> yep. So I got my dog a little flower crown and we're going to put him in a little like Dress thing. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, I, we're just removed enough from that now. I don't think I would catch that unless you told me. But if he's Joe Exotic. If you do that, then I'll make the connection. If he's, if he just addresses the dog up with a flower crown, you're going to think, oh, is your dog a hippie? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, you wouldn't connect it. But I think if he's Joe Exotic, yeah, seeing him next to each other, it would you'd figure it out. You are one of the 76% of pet parents is going to dress up their pet for Halloween this evening. But what is the pet and what's the costume? What are we seeing? Someone said, last year my dog was a flamingo. This year she's going to be a doctor. I'm going to wear my scrubs from work. My friends from the dog park are having a Halloween costume party tonight. And yes, the dogs are invited. And someone else said, a beanie baby. It's super easy and doable for all pets. If you just look it up online, all you need is that tag heart on their collar. And someone else said, not dressing mine up this year, but last year we did. We put her on a, in a yellow rain jacket with a red balloon, and she was from It. Oh, cool. No, I like that. And which pet can be? Hey, my pets are going to be dressed as Bonnie and Clyde, my two little puppies. They're going to be so cute. So are you guys going to do anything, or is it just photos? Definitely a photo op, um, but we're going to have trick-or-treaters coming by the house, so we're just going to be hanging out on, on my on my yard and just, you know, taking more selfies. Yeah, I think that that is 90% of why anybody's doing this, right? They just want that picture for Insta. It's all for the gram. Or a photo op. Yeah, maybe, but... Bonnie and Clyde, I don't think anyone's going to realize what your pets are. <laughs> uh, maybe I just get a bad eye for this. Most costumes that we're describing here, I, be, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think most of them, some of them seem kind of easy, but some of them, like if you saw a bat or a flamingo, okay, I got it. Even the one that was dressed as It, the yellow rain jacket, and you saw the red balloon. I'd figure like, that okay, out. Yeah, I get that's that. That's from It. And your pet's going to be what? I am dressing up my Jack Russell as Elizabeth Warren, but I'm putting him in an Indian costume. <laughs> oh, that old reference. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at first they're going to think that he's an Indian, so I made, like, a little, like, name tag that says, hello, my name is Elizabeth Warren. And my neighbor said that she'll dress her dog up as Trump, mm. and we can walk around the neighborhood together so that people get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still think you're going to struggle with that. That's a year too late, dude. I think it's that was topical before. Was the, I, I don't think that's even been a conversation in a minute. I don't even know who she's talking about. Is it political stuff? Uh, yeah. So I'm. If, it's I'm the no, lady with the short hair, right? I think. Yeah. I, think I don't so. want to get into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. We're going to have to accidentally talk about politics enough the next okay. few days. I don't want to do it to Halloween. What do we see for our final red of them text? Someone said a bat. I even got her picture taken at a pet store yesterday, and I'm desperately waiting for them to send those pictures to me. And someone else said last year my dog was a pumpkin. I actually got the pumpkin costume at Marshall's. This year, we're going together. I'll be Dorothy, and my dog's obviously going to be Toto. So now, does this inspire you? Do you feel like you should take another run at Ziggy the Cat, or are we just going to give up on him today? Dude, I'm still working on my costume, and it's Halloween, okay? No. <laughs> so he's out. Ziggy's out. You I don't fight. even have Halloween candy. 
but I'm assuming no trick or treaters will be coming to my apartment. Yeah, that's a safer bet because I think sometimes maybe they do in complex, but a lot of times they might bolt out to the neighborhood across the street or whatever. Yeah, I'm hoping they're going to go to the neighborhood behind us and no one comes to my place. Steven asked, should we get candy? I said, yeah, if you want to eat it, we can have it. And he said, well, what about kids? I said, the past couple of years, I, I literally can't remember if anyone's ever knocked on our door for candy. I don't think so. You know what? Just grab a can of soup or something. On the cover. <laughs> I'll be right back. They would be so disappointed. Here's a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> it'll, it'll get used, man. I have candy, but they're open. Like I could give them a handful of Sour Patch Kids. Done. There you go. Gross. It's fine. It, well, it's probably kids you've seen before in the complex. They know you're clean. I have never seen kids in my apartment well, complex, really so weird. that would also be strange. Adults trick-or-treating. 